the Winthrop vlogs. I got this little thing over my car mount here that's getting in the way. We get questions all the time about concealed carry. What, what should I carry as a daily carry gun? What do you recommend? I always recommend good firearms that I think will be perfect for concealed carry. You know, everybody has a different opinion on everything. Some people like a double stack firearm, some people like revolvers, some people like pocket guns. You know, as long as you're carrying, I guess that's fine. But I find single stack firearms are perfect for concealed carry, like your M&P Shield. 1911, I carry a Ultra Carry, which is a three inch 1911. I find single stack firearms are really perfect for your everyday carry. Because with single stack firearms, you don't have the bulkiness of a bigger firearm. And again, that's not set in stone. I know people that carry um, a Glock 30, which what I, I do sometimes. It's kind of a brick. But you know, I just kind of like giving the advice that I like, you know, using my experiences with concealed carry, because I carry every day. And some people like to carry snub nose revolvers. You know, there's, you know, everybody has their own type of firearm they like to carry or their preference on what they like to carry. So, just I wanted to bring those up to you too. We manufacture holsters for concealed carry. We are growing because of the fact that we carry for most firearms. The last vlog that we had, we did mention about a very popular firearm, which is the Kimber um, Micro 9, 9 millimeter which is real nice. That gun is just coming in, I mean, 10, 20 a day. So, you know, it's amazing how these new firearms come out. These manufacturers are actually pushing these firearms out. I mean, quickly, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing every new, every month there's a new, there's a new firearm, there's a new model number six. There's a, you know, the industry is just booming in firearms. And I personally believe in the future we're gonna have we're going to be able to carry in every state. You know, I think that's something that's being pushed out there. Where, you know, if you're going to travel to this state, you can still carry your concealed weapon. So now you still have to look and see what states you are able to carry in. So I just wanted to go over some of those recommendations for the first, pl first part of this vlog. Feel free to look at withdropholsters.com as well. So I'm going to head over to the warehouse right now and um, see what we have going on over there. So okay, I have a few molds here on the table for you. Some examples on the different size. Here's your Glock 21. Full size Glock, it's a double stack. It's pretty big size gun, almost like a duty gun. Then you have your f and 45, which is another full size double stack. So, and then you go down to the smaller sizes. Now if you can look at the size comparison, have your XDS, single stack 45, very slim line, very short, perfect for concealed carry. We'll put that on top of the F&P 45, which is a double stack 45, and you can see the size comparison. Nice and slim line, and a nice big caliber. We also got a Glock 43, which is a single stack, smaller carry Glock. We'll compare that to your Glock 21. So again, I like single stack, smaller guns for concealed carry. Makes it much easier for concealment. Compared to your full size, which is okay to carry as well, if you're comfortable carrying this gun. These, again, these are just cast molds. I'll give you an example. What's up, Mike? What up? Say hi to the uh, part of this video. What up, people? Mike, see, look at Mike. He's always editing. Look at this. <laughs> always editing over here. Somebody's got to do it. There you go. <laughs> You're the man, buddy. That's how you do it. Feel this way forever. Ooh, I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry. I apologize. The truth is.